A very fast Christmas party is starting. What is the one thing that no one knows about you? What we have is a hand created to create. We did it! And I got so emotional. Hi! Welcome back to another vlog. Another vlog where I'm starting in the car. I just find it so much more easier starting vlogs in the car actually. I am waiting for Lakshmana to come back. I had to drive him to the MOT center. He had to get his car fixed today anyway. And I'm waiting for him to come and I thought I will just come on and say hello. I should have started this vlog last night because something very, very, very exciting was in the books. But it didn't happen at all. Lakshmana is staring at me. He's already here. He's like, who am I talking to? We were going to change this car to another car last night, but we went into the shop, sat there for an hour and a half, and it just didn't finish because of all of the delays and stuff, and I got really disappointed. And it was such a busy day at work yesterday, so by the time I finished work and rushed to the car shop, I was exhausted and tired, so it didn't, it didn't even occur to me to start um, the vlog at all. But I thought, okay, let's just start it today. We are going to go shopping now because we have a Christmas party today. It is the 19th of November today. And our very first Christmas party is starting because we are away for the most of December. So we are going to go get some stuff and then come back home, arrange everything. And then hopefully tomorrow we'll be getting my new car. I'll tell you a lot more about the car later in the vlog. And by the end of the vlog, you and I will both know if I will end up with a new car or not. Because I am very reluctant at this point whether I wanted to change. Initially, I was super excited for it. Now I'm like... I like the car I want it, but do I really, really want it? It's not um, a desperate need. It's just a want, you know, so much more better and things like that. But yeah, we'll talk about it later. Let's go shopping now. has been a complete fail today if I must say so myself. I think from morning until now, the only um, filming or footage I have of the whole day is about two minutes long. That's it. And I haven't done anything, but I have been super busy. We've just finished our Christmas party. Everyone has left. I need to quickly get changed and go and sort out everything and clean up. But I don't think you're interested in seeing, seeing all of those sorting out and cleaning and everything. But and also, I think the only video I managed to get of the evening was of the food. That's it. Not of the people, not of the games, the conversations, nothing of that sort at all. I was a bit reluctant to take my camera out while everyone was there because you never know who wants to be, you know, on video or photos on social media and all of those stuff. So I just didn't really feel like it. And I was enjoying the, the company, basically, you know, I was enjoying all of our conversations and everything. We have this uh, let's talk or conversation starter sort of list of things that we can talk about. And we started off talking about the first question was, what is the one thing that you cannot live without? Second question was, what are you most passionate about? And the third one was, what is the one thing that no one knows about you? And we've known all these people for years. And it's so surprising how many things come up in such conversations. It's so interesting to talk about all of these things. And I have such amazing conversation from this pack of cards. If you're interested... I will talk more about it probably in future videos and everything. One thing that I dislike doing is talking about the weather when I'm meeting new people. 
I am somewhat an introvert. I'm an introverted extrovert, so I don't really have a lot to talk about to new people. I struggle to talk to new people, basically. And in the UK, you only talk about the weather. Most of the time, it's so easy. You know, it's a conversation starter uh, and opener, rather. But I hate doing that. Sometimes I would find myself Googling questions or things to talk about, small talk things, you know, topics and stuff. But these, these cards that I have, the pack of cards that I have is so good. Very deep questions, but very, very interesting. You just dive right into it, talking to people. It gives you a lot of ideas. Yeah, and turn it around into something that the community... Well, the community, you already get a lot from it. So I want to give you some insight into the brilliance of uh, the design of the human being. Not just skill, completely different to human hands. And it's what apes need for climbing through the trees. But what we have is a hand created to create. At the age of five, a child, his brain can move those muscles to make expressions and he knows what these expressions are. Even a tiny baby can smile. God has broken. We're not the first, we're not the last. While others may be restless too, we were always far ahead, me and you. We made it to the car shop and the payment and everything has gone through now. There was so much of a commotion ever since Friday because of it. It's a bit loud and noisy here and I can't talk about it, but I'll go back home and tell you. We're waiting for our car to be ready so that we can collect it and go back home. We did it! I'm in the new car now. It almost didn't happen at all. There was so much commotion. I mean, not really commotion. See, the thing is, we went Friday night to test drive the car. Lakshman had already test driven in the afternoon. It was fine. I already test drove another car. That's a long story. Not necessary. It's, it's fine. So Friday evening we went. Technically the idea was to trade in my BMW and then get this car. We've got this, um, what is it? Mitsubishi uh, Eclipse Cross. It takes me a minute to remember. BMW is so much more easier to say than Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. So this is the one that we got. Friday evening, we were supposed to trade in. We went there after work. It took such a long time for the paperwork and the trading price and everything. And then um, the value that they were giving me for the BMW was far, far lesser than what we expected. So we needed to, you know, try and figure out the numbers and calculations and everything. And because the difference between what the car wasn't that much at all, we were going to pay off the credit card and then pay it off later rather than taking finance. It doesn't make any sense at all to take finance for a, a, about £2,500 odd. But they wouldn't accept credit card payment. They needed cash. And we didn't have that much cash, obviously. So we had to try and figure out what to do. And it was way too late on Friday night. So we couldn't get the car. They didn't have any appointment on Saturday. They only had one in the evening at five. But we had our Christmas party at five. So we couldn't make it at that time. The next appointment they had available was Sunday. And we came at 11 o'clock right after our service in church. It's much later from the previous clip now. Lachman's upstairs with Levi. Levi's gone to sleep. And I thought I'd come down, sort out the car, arrange everything and fix all of my extra stuff and everything. And I thought I'd show you the car. But before that, I was saying something earlier. I mentioned something about today. Yeah, we were supposed to buy the car on Friday. That didn't happen. And then yesterday, they didn't have any appointments. And then they gave us an appointment today at around about 11 o'clock in the morning. We went straight up to church. And then it still took time. It just took a very long time. It, it's not really car shop per se. It's just this one person who was trying to sell um, extra insurances and extra cover and all of those stuff, you know. So it took a very long time while he was explaining and all that. But yeah, eventually it was done. We were waiting for the car, got everything sorted and then we came. And when we swapped the car seat and fitted this, both the cars were facing each other. It's like a face off. My BMW was opposite and then the Mitsubishi was here. So I was telling Levi to say bye to the car. Levi is so used to that car that he says that is mommy's car. So he was like, let's go back home and he was pointing at the BMW. And then I said, no, baby, we've changed our car. This is now our car. The bigger car is our car. We have a big car now. And I said, bye, say bye to BMW. And I got so emotional. I didn't expect myself to be that emotional. That's not like my first car. I thought I've had so many cars, but I don't know, for some reason that I was very sentimental with that car, you know. BMW is my dream car, but that doesn't mean that this is the only time I'm going to own a BMW. Probably in the future, we'll change another BMW, change another car. But 
Yeah, it was such an emotional, bittersweet moment. It served us really well. It still has a lot of life left to it. The only reason why we wanted to change to a bigger car is because I wanted a slightly bigger boot space. When you have children, you underestimate the amount of things that you need to carry. His pram itself takes up all the boot space in the BMW. And then, you know, BMW is like really low. So it's difficult with children. It's not necessarily a family car. But now with this Mitsubishi, it's everything is so much more bigger. It's not massively huge, but it's slightly bigger than the BMW and so much more accessible. And it's easier to get in, get out, you know, put stuff in and everything. So it's really, really nice. Let me show you this car. I don't really know so much of the technical stuff and everything, but obviously this one has cruise control and then it has, you know, all of the regular remotes and stuff in there. You can see everything here. But you also have that HDU um, head up something. I don't know what it stands for. Uh, but yeah, you have that screen where you can see um, all of your navigations and stuff in there. And then you have a lot more buttons here, the automatic stuff. And then this one connects with Bluetooth, but it also has Apple Play. So you plug in your phone and you can have your phone mirroring up there with the navigation and everything. And then this is the usual setting. It's an automatic car. And then this is also a navigation thing that's touch screen. Um, two cup holders over here. And the glove compartment is very deep. And you have one more there for coin. And this glove compartment is also quite deep. It kind of has two layers in there. This is where I had all of those other stuff. So you can ignore that. And that is the back. Levi's car seat is fitted in there. Um, yeah, that's a back seat. You have plenty of space. I'll show you some space behind when I'm sitting. There's a lot of space down here. Oh, suddenly got so sunny. Not complaining. It's November and it's super, super cold now despite the sun. But other than that, it's really nice. I love this car. It looks good. Not too big, not too small. Um, it has a reverse camera. Let me show you that. So when you change to the reverse gear, there you go. That's a reverse camera. I'm definitely looking forward to that reverse camera. That's a boot space. You've got some extra compartments over here and here and a lot down here too. Look at the legroom in the back seat. I mean, I'm really, really short, so there is so much space over here. But other than that, there is so much room in here. And while Levi is sitting, his feet doesn't even touch the back seat. And you have an armrest over here. I can't push it down. But yeah, that's the armrest. And it's obvious.